In this video, we have two elements in the symmetric group of degree 6, and we're going to multiply them. The most important thing to remember is that the multiplication takes place right to left, right to left. So you always start on the right. You can pick any number you want, 1 through 6. Let's start with the number 1, so 1. Then you look over here, and you say, okay, where does 1 go? So 1 goes to 2. So 1 goes to 2. You say, all right, 1 goes to 2. Then you look over here for the 2. Here's the 2, so 2 goes to 4. That means that 1 goes to 4. Let me do that again. Okay, so 1 goes to 2. Then you look over here for the 2. 2 goes to 4. That means 1 goes to 4. Then you just keep going, so 4. So you go over here, so 4. So 4 goes to 1. Now you look for the 1. 1 goes to 3. That means 4 goes to 3. Now you go to the 3. <laughs> really careful. So 3 goes to 4. Okay. So now we look for the 4. So 4 goes to 1. Oh, wait. But look, the 1's over here, right? So we close it. Right? Because that means 3 goes to 1. So again, we did, we did uh, 3, right? So 3 goes to 4, right? 3 goes to 4. Then you look for the 4. 4 goes to 1, right? So that means that 3 goes to 1, but the 1's here, so you close it. All right, so what do we do next? Well, now we can pick any of the other numbers we're missing. Let's use 2. So parentheses 2. Let's see what happens here. So 2's over here, right? So 2 goes all the way back to 3. So 2 goes to 3, right? So 2 goes to 3. Now we look for the 3. Ah, 3 goes to 5. That means 2 goes to 5. Good stuff. Good stuff. Then we go to 5. Let's see, five. well, there is no 5 here. Well, what happens is 5 is fixed over there in that second permutation. So it's just 5. Likewise, it's just 6. So it's fixed. So you can't really, it just goes to itself. So 5 goes to 5. So over here, 5 goes to 6. Therefore, 5 goes to 6. Then you go to 6. 6 goes to 6. And then over here, 6 goes back to 2. Oh, but here's a 2, so you close it. So that's it. I hope um, that made sense.